At these remote district hospitals of Northeast India, patients requiring emergency care are experiencing a welcome change. Now, a trained emergency room technician or ERT gives them immediate life support before handing them over to the doctors. ERT training helped me to boost my confidence because I can start every line without the doctor's prescription. Emergency centers in government hospitals often suffer from inadequate staffing and lack of protocol-based management of emergency patients. In fact, 40% deaths occur in hospitals during the first hour. Our treatment for our duration, I got a eta patient log resuscitated, or another patient log resuscitated, or a busy home or prison. So, hey, how much can he cut down? Guri bo para goise tar kaone patient log life basi se. GVK EMRI runs over 10,108 ambulances across 18 Indian states, catering to about 25,000 emergencies every day. The ERTs are trained to effectively take over patients from these ambulances. ডাক্তর <laughs> EMRI is training this new cadre of specialized emergency medical staff as a pilot project in three northeastern states, Assam, Meghalaya and Mizoram. The target is to help government hospitals improve their emergency management capacity. The ERTs uh, nominated for this uh, project were one people from medical background itself, for example, BSc nursing, general nursing and midwife. We are also looking at people who are there already in the emergency room like paramedics, uh, emergency technicians. So it help, it help a lot to the patients and also for the hospital staff and also the doctors. Now people have seen after the training trainings given to them, they have saved a lot of time and they are well equipped and also well behaved now on the tackle the situations. The positive impact has encouraged EMRI to consider scaling up the initiative through similar public-private partnerships across Indian district hospitals. If the patient handover process with the support of emergency room technicians can happen in a very standardized manner, the quality of care improves. The name and the fame, the trust on the public health institutions will also improve in our country. For these medical professionals from the remote interiors of India, this is more than just an added qualification. They know this is their chance to save lives and spread hope among countless people.